Hi there guys, my name is Aaron and you can learn make and create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit a portrait step by step using some actions. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Photoshop and as you can see this portrait is looking amazing and it's done by Victor Bez. So before we start retouching this portrait, make sure to check all the links down in the description because you will find the raw file and the retouching actions that we are going to use in this video tutorial. So uh, let's just click clean and click play. After we do that, as you can see, we have the clean layer that says clean here and the block not help layer that tells us to clean. And the spot healing brush tool is automatically selected. So we are going to use three different tools. One of them is spot healing brush, healing brush and patch tool. So I'm going to solve this spot healing brush. And as I said, make sure to check all the links uh, because you will find the creator bundle pack 2023. And if you're watching this video tutorial please go to my channel watch the latest video tutorial I, I have uploaded because uh, sometimes I create uh, new bundles and you can get a different price so make sure to check uh, the latest video tutorial and uh, if you want to get my retouching actions you can click on the link in the description Right now, I just created a selection around the around the neck because uh, I want to clean the hair around the face uh, that is showing right here. So I'm gonna click here on the clone stamp tool, and I want I want to clean this like this. You have to click Alt keyboard and click to copy, and just paint to. Uh, you have to brush to paste. Sorry, you have to copy and paste it like this. You have to do this process as near as possible because we don't have that much information in this part. So here's before and after and I think that is looking okay. I'm gonna go to other part and click here on the pen tool and just make a selection around the face. Right click, make selection, and for the feather radius, I'm gonna go by two. And as I said, make sure to copy paste as near as possible, just like that. So here we have a before and after, but we need to remove the here that we have added. So here we are, and as you can see, a before and after what you've done so far into this portrait, and I think this is looking okay. Now I'm just gonna merge them, right click, and click merge layers. Now that you are done with the clean, it's time for the dodge and burn. So I'm just gonna click play here on the dodge and burn. Turn on a black white help player and click on dodge. I'm gonna zoom in where I want to start dodging this portrait. So for the opacity, I'm just gonna go by 100, and for the flow, just 1%. I'm gonna zoom in, and I will start dodging this portrait. Just like that. So here's the before and after. It's not looking that much, but uh, when we keep working into the portrait, you will see what's happening, like a before and after. So here, if you can see that, you can turn off uh, the black and white player sometimes because you don't want to mess up with the color of this portrait so here's before and after what we've done so far with the dodge and burn and i think that it's starting to look better let me just zoom in here and check a before and after of the dodge and here's the burn and i think they're looking good now that we are done with the dodge and burn, sorry, we are going to merge them both again, like that. And here's the before and after of everything that we have done so far. Now that we are done with the dodge and burn, it's time for the frequency separation. So I'm just going to click play and wait until it's done. Now in the frequency separation, we have to work uh, separately in the color and in the texture. So in the color, we have to work uh, with the mixer brush. 
So the right settings for the mixer brush are wet by 10%, load by 45, mix by 45 or maybe 40, and flow by 33. So I'm gonna zoom in here where I want to start mixing that skin tones. So let's just uh, mix some highlights with a skin color. And here, as you can see a before and after, you have to keep working into the portrait until you think that uh, your portrait is looking amazing, but uh, never do like a lot of work in the frequency separation uh, in the color, because if you overdo the process, the portrait will look like, I don't know, it will not be that good. So you have to be careful when you are working with a mixer brush. And as you can see, these lines are not uh, uh, working that good because we have to remove them with the patch tool. Like you have to select the line just like that and remove them because we don't want to work with a mixer brush here because it will destroy the color that is under the neck. So you have to be careful where the lines are showing. Turn on the texture and check a before and after. Let us just zoom out. So here's before and after everything that we've done in the African separation. And as you can see, these lines are now gone. So we uh, now that we are done with the color, and I think that we are done, we have to click on the texture and we will remove some things that we want to. In the texture, we have to work with the clone stamp tool. The clone stamp tool works this way. You have to copy paste the texture and you have to do this process like copy paste as near as possible because uh, you don't want to mess up with the texture of, of the paste. So you have to click Alt keyboard, hold it and just click to copy and just brush to, pa uh, to paste. You have to do the process as I said as near as possible. Because if you copy here and you paste it here, and as you can see, the texture of the face is looking worse. So you have to be careful and copy paste as near as possible. So here's the before and after of everything that you've done in the frequency separation and I think that is looking okay. And now it's time to put some dodge and burn inside the frequency separation. So I'm just going to click here on the dodge and burn, click play and put this in between color and texture. Open the dodge and burn group, zoom in and turn on the black metal player. I'm going to go with the flow 100 and opacity by 10% and I'm just going to paint on the highlights where I want to put some dodge. So you have to click on the dodge. Click on dodge and click the brush. So I'm going to go by 10% opacity and 100% flow. Zoom in and turn on the black and white help layer and just paint where I want to put some more highlights. As you can see a before and after and I think that it's starting to look better. Just like that. So check a before and after and I think that is looking okay. Now click on the burn and with the brush settings just like uh, the dodge, I'm just gonna paint over uh, the cheeks. So I'm gonna create some contours just like that under the lips a little and I'm gonna make eyebrows darker just a little. Now check it before and after and I think that is kind of too much so I'm gonna go by 50% of this one. Click on dodge and paint on the chest, little on the hand. I'm not gonna touch this color palette because uh, I don't wanna ruin the colors that are in that one. And 
I think that 100% of this one is kind of too much. So I'm just gonna go like 75 maybe. Now I'll check it before and after. And yeah, I think that uh, uh, is kind of too much again. So I'm gonna go by 55 and check it before and after again. So here's the before and after of the African separation with a Dutch burn. And here's the before and after of everything that I have done. So I think that we are done with the dodge and burn, but uh, we still have a problem here. So we are going to remove this hair stick that uh, keeps here or something with a makeup. I don't know what it's called. So to remove this, we have to work first on the color. And after we're done with the color, we have to work in the texture. So I'm just going to create collection around the hair here. Just like that, right click, make selection, and for the feather radius, I think that I'm gonna go by three and turn off the texture. So here we have the problem, and I think that I'm gonna use the clone stamp tool to copy paste and remove it just like that. And click mixer brush and just apply this. You can turn on the texture to see what's going on here because we are working only with the color right now but we have to work with the texture after we are done with the color because we have to create like the original skin here so I'll turn on the texture and I think that is looking kind of but I don't think it is 100% okay so I'm gonna click here on texture Click Clone Stamp Tool and copy paste the texture that is here. So we are going to remove the texture just like that. Make sure to do it nicely because it will look fake like it's looking right now and as you can see before and after. But we have to go back in the color after we are done with the texture. So click on the color, click mixer brush, and let's just find the best color here on this spot because we have to create it like originally. And I think that we have to put some darker tones here by, I'm gonna click here on the burn tool and with 10%, I'm just gonna paint it. Just like that. I think 10% is kind of too much, so I'm gonna go by three only. So here's before and after. And I think it's looking good, but we have to keep working on this side just a little more. I'll check it before and after. And yeah, I think it's looking okay. I'll turn on that dodge and burn and check out before and after. And I think that is looking okay. Let me just zoom in here again. I think that we have to remove this part here because it's kind of the same thing. So with the mixer brush, I'm just gonna mix the colors here. Maybe put some burn here and just a little more with the texture. And boom, it's removed. Now that we're done with frequent separation and the dodgy burn, it's time to work uh, with the makeup details. So I'm just gonna zoom in here in the eyes and click here, eyes retouch, click play. Click continue, click okay. And click here on the darkened eyebrows, click play. Oops, put this on top. Click here on the darkened eyelashes. Click here on the smoky eyes. Click here on the eyeshadow that says pick a color that you want. I'm gonna create two layers. So click here on the eyes retouch first and click remove veins because we are going to work inside the eyes and just paint it with 100% brush and 100% flow. Just like that. Do the same process in both of them. Now reduce it because 100% is too much, so I'm going to go by 35. Click here on the brightening and paint 
again on the white of the eyes and reduce it again because 100% is kind of too much so I'm gonna go by 45 maybe yeah I think 45 is kind of too much so 35 now click here on the eyeball brightening and just paint inside the eyeballs reduce because 100% is always too much click on the iris contour and just paint it in the iris contours So here's before and after of the eyes retouch and uh, I think that I'm gonna reduce the entire group by 75 yeah 75 is looking good now click on the darken eyebrows and just paint if you want uh, darker eyebrows just like that Now click here on the darken eyelashes and just paint over the eyelashes by making them darker. So here's before and after and I think they're looking good. Now click here on the smoky eyes and just paint the sides, make this makeup look even better just like that but uh, as you can see uh, 45 is kind of too much and I think that I'm gonna go by 20 something like that or maybe 15 yeah 15 is good now click here on the eyeshadows that says pick a color so I'm gonna pick a color that is here I think that I'm gonna go with this one purple and with 10% brush I'm just gonna paint for the makeup, just like that. So here's before and after. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. So we have to keep working just a little more. And now I think that I'm gonna pick a lighter color that is here. And this one is for the highlights. So here's before and after, you can zoom out and I think that is looking amazing but 100% uh, as I said is kind of too much so I'm gonna go by 80%. I'll click on the other one and I'm gonna go with a darker color, I'm just gonna click uh, to make a sample from this color, zoom in and click here and I think that I'm gonna go with a dark one like this one and just paint on the sides just like that so here's a before and after it's giving them this kind of shadow look and I think they're looking good so here's a before and after of everything that you've done so far now click here that says eyeshadow pop just click play zoom in and paint over the eye makeup just like that so here as you can see uh, this one is great for the makeup artist but uh, obviously in this portrait 100% is too much so I'm gonna go by 35 maybe and here's before and after yeah I think it's looking okay now click here on the cheeks just click play zoom in and just paint on the cheeks just like that So here's a before and after and 100% uh, sorry 60% uh, obviously is too much so I'm gonna go by 40 maybe I think 40 is okay now that we're done with the uh, eye uh, makeup cherry cheeks and everything else it's time to work here on the lips so I'm gonna go click here on the lipstick color and click play so I'm just gonna open the lipstick color, turn on the first lipstick and just paint it 
over the lips or you can do it with the pen tool so you have to create a selection around the lips right click and make selection and i think that i'm going to go with a radius of four and just make this uh, into white you have to paint with a white brush into the black mask just like that So here's before and after. Now I'm gonna check them lipstick colors one by one. And if none of them uh, fits your style, you can just double click here and you can choose whatever color that you are uh, uh, that you want for your preferences. You can even go with a darker one, maybe a lighter one with a different color. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to stick with this one and just uh, reduce the opacity of the entire group because I think it's kind of too much. I'm sorry. I think that I'm going to go by 35 like that. Now zoom in here. Just paint a little more because we have to paint just a little here. Check it before and after. And I think it's looking good. Now click here on the white teeth. Click play zoom in and just paint inside the teeth and as you can see them this action makes them uh, whiter and removes the yellow color sometimes it removes the red but we have to be careful when we paint just like that and here's before and after and i think that is kind of too much but we have to reduce the opacity by 35 maybe so here's before and after of everything that we've done so far into this portrait. Now that you're done with the makeup details, it's time for some uh, finish and export. So I'm just gonna click here on Sharper, Basic Contrast and Face Contour. And click play for the three of them, just like that. And here we are in the Sharpen. And as you can see, is the black uh, layer mask. So we have to switch into the white, zoom in. So here's before and after of the Sharpen. And I think that is looking okay, but we have to reduce it by 50%. Now click on the basic contrast. And this one, I think that I'm going to go by 25. Now click here on the face contour or the contours and just reduce it by 45%. Now here's the before and after of everything that we have done so far into this uh, video tutorial. And I think that is looking amazing. Now I'm just gonna click here on the background and make another copy. Click shift keyboard, hold it and click here, right click and click on the group from layers and rename retouch. So here's before and after. Just make another copy of the retouch and right click merge group into a single uh, layer. Click here on the filter and click on the liquify because we are going to make some changes here inside the lips. I'm gonna make the lip like same in both of the sides. Zoom out a little and here's before and after. Make some changes just a little more here. So here's before and here's after just click enter and i think that is looking okay now that we are done with the retouch it's time for some color grade so for the color grade we have to click ctrl and a ctrl c to copy this entire window go to file new and click grade paste it and right click merge the layers go to load actions click on the cradle bundle pack Click on actions, click on the color grade light skin actions, click load and check them one by one until you find your best color grade. Just click play. And I think that I'm going to stick with the A1. I'm just going to drag and drop this into the original file, put this here and check them settings. One of them, make changes if you need to, for example, if you want to reduce the opacity or not. So here's the before and after of this color grade A1. 
and I think that is looking okay. Now check a before and after of this entire process. So here's before and here's after retouch. Here's before and here's after retouch with a color grade. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you will find the raw file and the retouching actions. Also leave some comments down below. Let me know if I'm understandable or not. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.